how I process all this like family, career, life, relationship stuff. I feel like we could play around with that though. Sunday right now as I'm filming this and normally, sorry, I'm struggling with this Play-Doh that I'm supposed to use for my, my wrist PT or OT. It's supposed to help like do these side to side stretches. Sunday normally when I'm back home in LA is a special family day because in addition to, you know, my mom working Monday through Saturday and Sunday usually being her only day off when I was growing up, you really spent it with each other, whether it was you know, going out to eat or, you know, going grocery shopping. Now that I've moved away to New York, it's sometimes difficult, or at least sometimes on Sunday, especially, I feel a little more homesick. At least I don't think I felt this way when I was a kid necessarily, especially when it's really cold out like it is in, in New York. And then I look at the LA forecast and it's like 60 degrees or something. Today, I'm pretty excited because I get to catch up with my cousin, Regina. And we both grew up in LA, you know, we've known each other since we were kids, but to me, it's really special because both of us, I think are the only ones in our family who have moved out to the East Coast who currently both live in New York. It's been a while since we last talked because even though we both live here, we have our own separate lives. Last time we talked was probably in Christmas when we were both back home. One thing I'm pretty curious about too, and maybe we'll talk about it, maybe we won't, is how they have maintained their Chinese level because they lived in China for a couple of years after they graduated college and they got really, really, really fluent and recently moved back to New York. And so I'm pretty curious, like how well have they maintained their level of Chinese? because it's something that if you've been following my videos, you know I struggle with and am trying to maintain, even if it's not as much practice as I used to have. Maybe we'll talk about that. I don't know. It'll be nice just to, to hang out and be in Chinatown for a bit too. So this is the Play-Doh. Mash it into a little circle. You're supposed to like squish it up into a ball and then here, I'll move the camera down. You can see it's this little ball and then you just do the like, OT with it. Do these little stretches. I'm probably supposed to go slower, but it's supposed to really help out this area, which for a lot of people who work at their desks all day and use keyboards and mice and probably overusing the phone too, like this is supposed to be really helpful. I'm trying to get back into it because I feel like lately I've probably been using my keyboard too much. <sighs> anyway. And then the freaking Statue of Liberty. <laughs> That's so cute. Yeah. And then like the curry balls. That's cute. Regina and I just finished having lunch, and then afterwards we went to a bookstore and we talked for three hours today. So much to talk about, I think, when you're with someone who just knows so much about your life. I think right now being an adult in New York and being used in the city, you meet a lot of people that see the kind of end product version of you. And it's not often that you really interact with people who've known you in your whole life, have seen how you've changed, have seen how you've grown, and really understands a lot of the history of where you come from and then being able to share that experience. So many different thoughts right now, processing a lot of different things. About to go to Kyle's orchestra concert, so probably we'll just sit with that and listen to the music while I process all of this like family, career, life, relationship stuff. Always grateful to have those conversations and just be able to, to have that space. It was awesome, we were in the UME me bookstore, they had a little red nook and we just sat in there and it felt like a little therapy healing session for definitely for me hope for regina as well i can't wait for the next time that we catch up again and get to reflect on how much we've both changed and grown and what's going on in our lives so regina if you're watching this love you and uh always appreciate our time together
sometimes at the end of a, a long day or if I'm just feeling tired at night, one of my favorite things to do is to get a bowl of sunflower seeds, sit on the couch and just, yeah, it's pretty meditative. Usually I'll watch something while I'm doing it, but today I just kind of feel like there's been a lot of external stimulation already. So it's nice to just like sit here on the couch, have a little bit of time left before Henry and I have to rehearse our scene. We're really trying to get in a place where by the time we perform it next week, we're entirely rehearsed and entirely memorized so that we can spend less time thinking about the lines and the words and spend more time thinking about kind of the different things that we can play with. I think that's really interesting to me is in class we learn a lot of acting tools that we can think about as we're approaching the scene, which is something that was very different in high school. In high school I did speech and debate and we didn't really have tools. Well, well for one thing, we didn't have any coaching or any formal training. It was really like you go up there. I guess I should first explain for those of you who haven't done speech and debate before, on the speech side there's a couple of different events. But the ones I'm talking about are called interpretation events or interps. There's a humorous one, there's a dramatic one, and then there are ones with partners. The one I did was called oratorical interpretation, but basically you take a speech or a play or whatever it is and you condense it down to 10 minutes and you do a monologue for 10 minutes, which is very different than the stuff that we're doing right now where for one thing you don't have 10 minutes, you have maybe like four or five minutes and there's also a scene partner. So now it's not just about like what you know and like your body language, it's about really trying to make a conversation become real. I think that's actually really difficult to do because in real life, when you think about it, most of the time we don't know what we're about to say in conversation. We're really kind of listening and responding and then listening and responding. But in a scene, you know everything that you're about to say. So the challenge sometimes is how do you really listen and respond rather than just kind of thinking about your own lines. I think especially when I'm tired, I don't really want to do anything. I kind of want to just like vegetate on this couch, maybe put on a show and watch something. Go ahead, right, you're done. Yo. What's going on? What's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'll see you from there. <laughs> right. That's still What time are you watching? Um, I think nine. nine. Okay, I'll be are ready. Are you playing? Yeah, I'll be playing. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna rehearse for a little bit, but I'll be out too later. Alright, sick. Sick. See ya. Let me know if you're filming, I went to study. That's fine. You're part of the film. Finally! <laughs> I feel like it's always a struggle. Whenever I like, I look up the play, I'm like, do I actually want to watch a take on this? Cause I feel like I'll attach myself way too hard to like the take, especially if you like yeah, it. Exactly. I feel like we could play around with that though. Like we don't have to do the bedtime at night yeah. thing. If we wanted yeah. to do like daytime, they're at school. But it's like, yeah. why are we home then? <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Even just like, so that we know, no one else has to. Right, like no one else has to know. That's the thing I was like, oh, that's why yeah. I was like, let's agree on a maybe time of the week. I got an idea. <laughs> Fucking what? slip into the text. <laughs> got him. <laughs> yeah, I got. A, I got an idea. What? Okay. It's, it's just a little bit. Okay. I, I wouldn't call that hate. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! What are you? That is not. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna rehearse some other day. Sunday. You too. Play for impression fully. Oh, he did it good for the camera. You've been practicing. <laughs> Fucking hustling. That's not fair. You've been practicing. No, no, it's you, were, you were playing the Oscar snap. And you started, was, practicing, was. You started practicing earlier today. This is the back of your tongue. Okay, can you guys like. 